Remember to enjoy the Philippines. And I'm putting this up after a run of strange activities globally from the British exit to the Turkey's changes and other things ongoing around the world. Um, because I know in the Philippines it's very easy to get set on things that bug you. Um, for example, if you've got a neighbor that burns rubbish at six o'clock in the morning, just as you're like getting up and just want to relax by the pool or whatever, they ain't going to change. What you can actually do is just approach them and say, because you burn it later when I'm out or whatever. Um, but just approach these things diplomatically. Often there's a solution. The main thing is not going in there all guns blazing because Filipinos don't react with it very well to it. There's a thing called tampo, which is like a, like a child's tantrums. It's very, very common in the Philippines and males and females both do it and they'll bear a grudge for a long period of time if they're upset in the wrong way with this losing face type thing. So it's always worth doing it diplomatically and just turn around and say, find a solution. Um, but I would also say that there's a lot around you you may not be doing. I know some guys don't really venture out of their subdivision or whatever. I would say do it. Uh, just don't take your wallet with it. <laughs> just take, take enough money for the day or whatever. And enjoy the Philippines. Get around a bit more. Um, get yourself around to the ports and visit some of the other islands. Do Get yourself out of your comfort zone, even if it's once a month or whatever, because it's very easy to get in a rut in the Philippines. But the place is amazing. There's so I mean, I was there nearly 10 years, and there's stuff I regret not doing yet. Um, but at the same time, I'm planning on doing it. It's a bit like here in Spain. With just the process of putting the solar system in the van. Helps if I don't drop the connector. <laughs> um, this is my uh, regulator which arrived yesterday. I've got my adhesive for connecting the panel up. Put a 200 watt panel on the roof. Um, so we've got a cool box and I can charge my laptop etc. The point is we're setting ourselves up so we can tour Spain a bit more. This is what you need to be doing. You need to focus on making stuff worth doing, um, enjoying the country. So when you've got neighbors burning rubbish or the noisy neighbors next door, that don't focus on that stuff. Focus yourself on something positive that will put you in the right direction, thinking, right, that neighbor's doing my head in, but next Friday, I'm looking forward to going to the beach for the day. Um, there's a lot of resorts around the Philippines which are really, really cheap, so you can travel around a lot uh, for not a lot of money. Um, the buses, although I don't recommend them in the wet weather because um, they fall off mountains and things, um, but the, the during the, uh, the drier periods, they can get you from A to B very, very cheaply. Um, the fact is you can do a lot of stuff that you're not thinking about. But also be aware a lot of stuff isn't advertised. You've got to hunt around for it. Ask people, where can I go fishing? Where can I see this? Is there a zoo here? Is there this? What? I hear there's crocodiles or whatever. Where can I find a crocodile? <laughs> whatever it is you want to do is ask people around because somebody will come back to you and say, oh, my cousin's over there, my uncle, my brother, whatever. And you'll find you can create a lot of activities that you didn't even know existed. There's certain areas in Cebu, if you go there, there's some fantastic fishing. But you've got to know where it is in the first place because they don't advertise these things. Um, airsoft events are pretty good. I like going to the airsoft events. But even if you're not competing, it may be worth traveling with those guys because traveling with about 600 Filipinos um, to an event, you've got a fairly strong base that will look after you. Um, so if you're a bit worried about going into other areas, um, these things can be very, very useful for transportation because you're part of the gang. Um, as such, they'll look after you. Um, yeah, there's just so much to do. But also, just be usual safety things, but I'm not even going to talk about in this video. There's enough videos about keeping yourself safe, but just make sure you enjoy yourself. Don't get into the little bubble of living in a subdivision because you'll get you'll get people that will do everything for you to the point that you don't need to go anywhere. 
get yourself out of that. That's why I have a motorbike because I'll go into the city for the afternoon or whatever, um, even if it's just for a coffee. It's why we go to restaurants all over Cebu when we're there because I like food. I like good food, and it, I know it shows. Um, but <laughs> that's coupled with the excessive amount of work uh, work I do. Um, I think my biggest problem was I worked in construction for a long period of time, so as such. Um, was burning a lot of cal calories and then maintained the food habits after. <laughs> but you can see, you know, people go, mate, you're fat, whatever. Do I look bothered? Do I look offended? I don't care. You know what? I'm happy. That's, that's the bit that a lot of people forget. Do what makes you happy. If you can do that, the rest of it will fall into place. Please enjoy the Philippines. It's a beautiful country. Don't sit on the internet and complain on the forums and stuff all day. Go out, enjoy what you have around you. You'll see there's much more to see and do than you're currently doing. And I'll tell you that, I know so many people that do it. You know, they, they just sit on the forum. They go, you know, they'll have a beer and might go to a local bar, meet a couple of expats and go home and then they're on the internet complaining about everything. Kick the beer for a couple of weeks, go and do something else. Start a new hobby, do a new sport, do something. Get an old motorbike and fix it yourself. Something that just keeps you activated and very busy. Um, that's why I sit and do all this sort of stuff. I love doing it. I love doing new stuff. So even though the instructions are not the best for my glasses, <laughs> in a very tiny writing, um, even that little tip, get your mobile phone, take a picture, then copy it on to your screen and you can zoom in and get around there pretty much any problem. Thanks for watching.